Welcome everybody to another bold cast reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Charlotte episode six. And uh, yeah, last episode was the camping episode. They got a kid, there was a kid who could fly, told him not to fly, brought him back. I use coming down with a cold, probably just a common, probably hopefully not the coronavirus, but probably her powers uh, manifesting. Hopefully, um, that's what we're hoping for, her powers manifesting and not something else that's gonna make us cry. <laughs> yeah, I think it's her powers. Uh, what else? They went camping, there was the music, that was a cool scene. We got a really good discussion last episode, so hopefully you can go check that out if you haven't already. Um, we talk. I I went on like a like one of my classic rants about what what everything means and all the themes and everything. So if you want like a deeper analysis, last episode we had a pretty good one. So go check all that out. Go check out our Patreon, Patreon.com/slash/boldcast, where you can get a week early on shows like this, on Naruto, on Demon Slayer, on Konosuba, and all the, all other shows that we'll be uh, reacting to as things go on that aren't currently airing. Also exclusive reactions like OVAs and movies and live streams at some point and polls too. Whenever we choose. <laughs> an op reaction or a new show and uncut op reactions a bunch of stuff over there go check that out there's also a teespring where you can get mugs like this let's say bold cast on it or Whoops. stickers like that or t-shirts we also have an instagram at boldcast media where you can get exclusive content there but most importantly we have a backup channel where you can subscribe just in case this channel gets taken down we already have one copyright strike currently on this channel at this very moment uh, so we're just as in danger as anyone else of getting struck down so if you want to keep if you want to ensure to keep getting content from us in the event of our channel being closed down go to the description description and check out our backup channel boldcast backup one last thing this is not a market substitute for charlotte all of the shows where we include footage from the show in the reaction it is reference footage for our reaction and for our review it is not meant to steal ta traffic or attention from the actual show and the official release itself it is only meant as a review and we cut to our reaction not to the story of the show so if you're trying to find a way to watch the show for free this is not the place to do it you'll be highly confused because we don't post these for the purposes of giving you an outlet to steal the show we do it to uh, add add our own take and add our own uh, uh, side of things to the show and show appreciation for it with all that said anything you want to say before we get into it no let's go it's going up 39.5 oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the guy you confessed to her. Oh. Love triangle. <laughs> okay, it sounded different for a second. Oh, that's the the billboard in the background. That's the band that oh, she listens really? to. Yeah, cool. the, the guy's body is like covering it. Who is that, by the way? And when it gets like all tight, and then it's just the person's eye looking back, it does. It looks like a uh, person from the flashback. Oh, maybe. It's a guy soaking wet. <laughs> Where does he get wet? What is what? Does like... he just go in like the school showers or something and just full force turns it on? And gets soaked. Sits in there for like thirty straight seconds. <laughs> Uh, Hokai. <laughs> it's like an earthquake style power. Mm. Oh, I wonder if it actually is the sister and they're looking at her oh, right now. Oh, shit. I bet you're right. It's totally his sister. <laughs> you can't hide that. I mean, so far we're three for three siblings who both have it, so three sets. <laughs> Perfect oh, nice. opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What? Wait, really? That can't be true. <laughs> she already had that same plan. <laughs> 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 you literally kicked him out of their head first. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. She just knows instantly what he's thinking. That's awesome. <laughs> Must be a different kind of porridge. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's like rice porridge. Like savory porridge. Oh, yeah. those cookies. Those the oh, sewington. Oh my god, the sewing tin cookies. The biggest jabated ever. Putting up one of those tins. I'm sure Yusa can afford that. We've all been jabated by those cookie tins. Good luck with that. <laughs> Our friends are there. Who is this? Oh, class rep. What? Oikawa? Wasn't that the name called before him? Oh, never mind. Yeah, they're. Okay, yeah. That was her class doing roll call. <laughs> Who is this stranger? What is this malice? Did she plant a bomb in there? What the fuck is going on? Big sister. <laughs> Classic kids staying home from school and then just being super annoying. <laughs> <laughs> She's giving a huge concert. <laughs> More dreams. Ask her, ask her, ask her. Nah. You know what? I bet it was her friend. That's a, that's also what I was thinking that she... But she was in the class when she was called. Unless she, like, snuck off right But out. we saw the roll call and then we saw them. Yeah. Yeah, you should try and find out rather than let it let it go. Like bubble beneath the surface. <sighs> Seems pretty cut and dry to me at this point. <laughs> yes. Oh. Snuck out. Oh, she got stopped from going out here. Oh. Because she's a kid or something, maybe? It's kind of weird. They're not allowed out. What the fuck? They're not allowed outside? It's kind of weird. Hmm. Maybe it's just for her because you stopped her for some reason. Yeah. 
まんごくてさあなたが思っている以上に計算高い人だからな<笑> Did you not see her other plans? Like おっとまた呼び出しですよさっそくとばちゃん近くないからもう一日休むようにしないと自分の判断で3時間目から合コンしているのに嫌だったから気持ちはあゆみさんの様子を見に行ってあっガーッ !Asking her out again? Uh-oh. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they friends? Why is this? Maybe it's just the music that makes that's making that seem more tense than it actually is. Who just ran in there? What the fuck? I thought that was like Tamori oh, disguised. Not, uh... Disguised. Yeah, it's her. But she, and, but Jesus, she... these middle school fucking relationships are extremely well acted. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Holy, Holy shit! shit! Okay, it's, it's not her. She's just crazy. What is this, Jennifer's Body starring Megan Fox? What the... Oh my god. Who was the other people who got out of that know. car? I thought it was... I hope they're not, like, government scientists I or something. I think it might be. I think she's gonna get taken away. Yeah, I think and so. And then... Did you see the feathers in the intro, like, over her? Like, yeah. Like, the brother, when he was freaking out with the feathers around? Oh shit, I didn't she's make that gonna, connection. Yeah. Oh and god. power time. Yeah, now she's gonna use it. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. This is some oh, fully no, no, no. cooly type shit. Oh my god. You know, I had been picturing this <laughs> since. Oh my god. Yeah, who is this? Who are you? Who is that? It must be someone. Yeah, now they're he's gonna get captured too, because now the authorities are getting called. Oh. Come on, dude. Come on. Teleport, 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 teleport. teleport. wanted to watch two episodes today. <laughs>
I am so glad I did not stop it there. Holy shit. That must have been like a mid-season finale type thing. Again, don't look at the thumbnails because it's going to... Uh, I don't spoil. even... Oh, shit. I don't even know what to say. That was such a good episode. What the fuck is going... What's going to happen now? Did he? Was that his blood or was that hers? Or was that... It uh... wasn't the other girl. No, I meant, was it, um, like, teleport got used and, like, knocked him out of the way, but, like, since he can't control it, he... He got crushed instead? Some... Someone's dead, or someone's leg is well, gone, Well, okay, or... it, it was the guy who finds the people with power, so it might be a completely different person. He might have fa like, because he's soaking wet, it's raining. Yeah. And he goes, he knows where people are who have the powers. Usually he, like, goes on the map and then drips on it or whatever. Mm -hmm. But maybe he detected a power, like, a power awakening. Maybe that's where Ayumi, it has to be where Ayumi is. No, because she awakened before. I don't, mean, we don't know how his power works. They're all at the works. same place, I thought. But, like, he can say, oh, no, because he doesn't detect a new power. He just knows where, like, one is being used. Or, like, someone with a power is yeah because it's not like oh so a new power is awakened it's like oh no no yeah there's like, been oh, reports those... of this guy flying around for the last like couple weeks or whatever so shit i bet that's ayubi or him because yeah power so he's always like drawn to like powers being used so maybe it is talk joe I thought, yeah, I don't know. I just thought he, like, showed up to that same place. Like, they, they were all there. And then maybe he showed up later. Or, like, something. <sighs> that one girl. I what the fuck is up with her? She is out of control. Disturbed, dude. Yeah, how old? Like, 11? Like, yeah. Using well, a box cutter to, like... I'd say that's, like, a little out of control for a kid that age, but I literally put a lock in, in a sock and chased a kid around the classroom. Who, but, to be fair, he w had been bullying me for years, and that was, like, the last straw this one day. But, like, I was that level of insane, like, brandishing a weapon, chasing somebody around. Um, uh, I, I didn't get close enough to where he had to unleash his earthquake power, but... <laughs> Yeah, so nothing o amounted out of that, but... Yeah. Oh, shit. Recording has been stopped. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Literally just middle school... Literally, Drama. like, 12-year-olds fighting over boys. But it's not even a fight. Like, she's, she's taking it out on the wrong person there. Because she rejected him, like, multiple times. And then this, like, girl comes at her with a knife, just like, you stole my boyfriend. Like, the, it, the, you home wrecker. <laughs> the, the other friend was pretty cool, though. <laughs> the friend with the, the uh, blue the, the hair. The class rep. Yeah, just straight up, like, comes in there and is just like, yeah, she said no, buddy. No <laughs> means no, shithead, and <laughs> tackles him into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, fuck. That was a straight up out of the frying pan into the fire scenario of like she runs away from the guy who who like keeps like asking her out and making unwanted advances and then immediately gets cornered by a girl with a box cutter. Imagine if they just hadn't eaten pasta for that long. Those idiots. I would just want to look at. Uh... That car that fucking rolled right up. Yeah. People get out. They look not like uh, students. Hold up. Oh, she, like, flashes a badge. She's definitely, like, part of the government. She, like, flashes her badge. You can't see what yeah. it is. Like, the window is all glossed up. And the guy's like, oh, shit. And they, I think he's saluting nice is what you. he's doing. Wait, nice seeing you? Oh. I feel like that's a weird translation. Because, like... I feel like he's saluting or just standing he might be straight. 
His hand, no, his arm's down. Yeah, either way, so he, like, stands at attention, the security guy, whenever the fucking... I love how he's, like, fucking, uh, uh... <laughs> Uh, what's the main guy from High School Musical standing outside the, <laughs> the classroom? What's that guy's name? Troy? Yeah. Yeah. Acting all cool, and then she's just like, ah, oh, no thanks, and then he's like, ah, oh, but, but! <laughs> she looks insane. Damn, that power. And that's crazy, she, like, falls as well. I can't tell what she's- I can't to. tell what age she is, the, mm-hmm. the, the lady. I think she's, like, a government agent. That falls, hang on, I just want to see the end credits- to see if it looks like it does kind of look like yeah. where where the thing fell on him there's only blood though fuck i guess there's only one way to find out i don't have anything to say <laughs> okay i okay i don't know if it's just cuz a lot of anime characters like a lot of side anime characters like look the same throughout different animes and if, or if i'm misremembering but like where's that guy in the car you know where it is I hate how, how are you so bad at finding, you're always like, oh, is it in the credits, this guy that appeared literally halfway through the, like, it was after all this shit over here, they were talking, and then it I was not even that far off. But you were, like, way over here. I don't don't know, I just wanted to look at him, he looks familiar, but. But he's in the opening. Oh, maybe. Because, uh, we said at the start, I don't know if I'll leave it in, like, our reaction, because the music's playing, but, um. Oh, yeah, see the mm-hmm. the band name. But after the really cool sequence, when it shows, like, a line of people. Because that's not him. That's, like, her brother. Mm-hmm. And there's, like, that one shot of just, like, r- red. Oh, yeah, who's that? Yeah, it's that She's girl. She's there, and then he's there. And then there's someone in the middle. The dude with white hair. Who kind of looks like maybe the, the like, brother person, or yeah. whoever and that is. And this person standing next kind of looks like... Looks like maybe, like, the wet like... guy? Hmm? He kind of looks like the wet guy. Perhaps, maybe you're right, he also looks like the person on the billboard for the band, Mm-mm. the Zined band or whatever. Well, that would probably be the female singer who's blind. But it looks like dressed like a, oh. a man and is taller, so that's why I'm not, I, I can't tell. I can't tell. It might be a white guy, but it looks like they're from a different place. But yeah, I think that that's definitely, I think it's safe to say that's definitely them. And I wonder what they're doing then. I know they're setting us up to make them make it feel like they're evil, but what if they're like a separate thing of like trying to save kids with powers or trying to give them an outlet or something? Or try, or like they know a way kids can like keep their powers. Yeah. Till later so, like like you you were talking a lot about like oh like they're getting everyone to like give up on like their dreams or oh, like Oh, by the way in the opening, sorry. I'll let you continue one just so, just one second. There's like a missing spot over here. Yeah. I don't know what the deal with that is in the uh, in the opening. They're all looking out at the horizon as the sun goes down. And in, like, that one of where, like, the sister's jumping. Yeah. Just, like, by... She, like, runs ahead. Yeah. And, like, then is just gone. Anyway, you were saying... Sorry. Um, shit, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, you were saying... Talking last time about, like, what the, what the metaphor is. Um... About your adolescence. Uh, yeah, about, about, like, adolescence and, like, creativity, creativity and... or whatever. And, like, if, if that's sort of what they're going with, uh, which is your, like, theory mm-hmm. at this point. And I'm wondering, and you were talking about, like, how, like, oh, they're, like, basically suppressing that for, like, the safety of... It's, like, for their own good, yeah. but it's it's kind of a weird message. But I'm wondering if maybe this other group is, like, they, they might be the scientists and they might be evil or they might be, like, another thing about, like using that and like or they might be the same that. thing because i think that they're re- like a government agent related to that so maybe the whole thing with her brother might have been like a you know sometimes that's what happens mm-hmm. when you try to use your use your powers quote unquote and like well, pursue your dreams is sometimes you get burned sometimes mm-hmm. it doesn't work out and it's and you end up fucked uh but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not worth pursuing Mm-hmm. type of thing maybe that's the message and it, it's like the scientists and all the shit is being set up as uh you know they're just trying to take you take you down this path of destruction where you're just gonna ruin your life and if you try to do all this shit then you're just gonna ruin your life so to stop everybody from falling in the fate of my brother who was like the artist and took a risk and 
Uh, I mean, he didn't. He was kind of sold off by his parents, so it's kind of muddled there. So maybe not. But this is what I'm going with. Um, maybe she'll have to face the idea that possibly it's the scientists aren't written necessarily that bad, mm -hmm. and this whole faction that they're f kind of fighting against or hiding from isn't necessarily the worst thing, and it's just a, a necessary risk to exploring that. Mm -hmm. Or like you said, they might be a different thing. Yeah, I think they might. I don't know, I'm not totally on board with that, because there's, like, the weird thing of, like, the mom selling off the both of them, her going through all those tests, like, as she was just a kid and yeah. didn't have powers yet, and being made to take all these tests and, like, super closely monitored. Um, that doesn't seem the same thing as, like, exploring your talents. That seems like... If someone has any bit of talent, we're gonna exploit it for all we can. Yeah. Um. Like, not for the person's gain, though. Like, for, for like, us as, like, a government agency's mm -hmm. gain. Um. Yeah, I, d I don't know what that group is, but I was wondering if maybe they're, like, sort of, like, a vigilante group. Not as organized as this school. Or maybe even organized, but on, like, a different level. Like, they're, like, masquerading as this, like oh, we have these badges and, and everything, and we're, like, well, we're, like, reputable people, but, like, secretly, yeah. we're, we're like, h helping out these kids or something. Yeah. I don't know. This was a really good episode. Really interesting. I I love how they, like, played it, played it up with, like, the the girl with the, with the knife. Mm -hmm. How, like, you didn't know whether it was actually secretly her or what was going on. But I think Ayumi actually has some kind of powers going on there of like I, I meant like of like like the, I, I, don't, I don't know if like her like, of course she has no powers. I meant like uh, regarding her like dreams and like because she had that like oh. premonition of her dream but then she also has been known to have like flashbacks to like something something else going on mm -hmm. and I don't know maybe maybe that's just like part of her like getting into her powers she has like these like heightened s senses and it's mm -hmm. it's all weird right now and so she's, she's getting these crazy dreams of like the past and the future uh but yeah it's kind of weird only one way to find out ladies and gentlemen we'll see you guys in the next episode of charlotte unless there's anything else you wanted to say before we go no Alrighty. see you in the next one check out our patreon backup channel instagram teespring check out our previous episodes if you haven't seen them already got all that in our channel uh yeah the show's getting really good it was already really good but it's now it's like it seems more like there's a uh i'll say one more thing the plot of angel beats kind of went up and down it was like oh now this two episode arc now this two episode arc now she's evil and now there's a million of her and now there's you know all the shit like it went there was like at little tight chunks this one seems like it's gonna be a, a single thing yeah. it's way more focused and yeah like there's like there's like the it, it's almost like one of those like police shows or, or like Procedural. a doctor shows where like each episode is kind of self-contained and but then there's also the main plot that like overstretches and has like multiple points like you'll do like whatever say, say the first like five episodes of this show mm -hmm. are like all like self-contained mini stories but underneath it all, like, being woven in are these threads. And now we're, like, getting to, like, the double or triple episode that's going to be all on this. <laughs> yeah. And then it's going to sort of go back to that a little bit and then tie together at the end. I hope so. Hope you guys will see if that comes to fruition. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And we'll see you in the next episode of Charlotte. Bye bye And thank you so much to all of our patrons, especially those in the student council. Zenge. Rising 80. John Ortega. Nicholas Teo. Aurora. Iwin Pulger. Lewis. Yeet. Gentleman. Chris Genovay, Mozart Waddle, Nelson Barbosa, Jan Carlisle Vincent, Kage Uzumaki, Xavier Rhodes, Chao Lao, Brian, Haruto Yuzuki, Handicap Bankai. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next one.